that is our man, that is our director. That we should start from now. So on the 38th of this month, we are starting from the Kuru. We are starting from the Kuru. In a deep way. It's not a political rally. It is a prayer for the nation. Enough of checking on them. Can we pause? The way they are kidnapping, killing, maiming, raping, destroying properties. Ah. It's as if to say nobody is concerned about that. Because when we lament for some few days, since it did not affect us down here, as it affects them over there, we feel we need temporary need. So God said, integrity ministers, go and start praying. Go and start praying. Organize prayer in the 36 days of the Federation. Organize prayer at the six geopolitical zones. Organize prayer for 774 local governments. After that, we will set, settle the prayers to all streets in Nigeria nation. It's, it's, it's a, a cool task for us. But God, who mandated us, will carry us through. People may ask a series of questions. Why are pastors, some, some pastors are even saying now, we have prayed enough. Is there, is there enough prayer? How can you say you have prayed? When prayer should be a continuous dance. It is, it, no, prayer must be continuous issue, both for Muslim and Christian. And we must not discriminate. Because when God created man, he did not create Christians. Say this group, you are Christian. This group, you are Muslim. This group, you are going to be pagan. Real God created humanity. Human beings. You did not become a Muslim or a Christian by birth, the way we relate it, because of our limited philosophical thinking. You become a religionist by choice. Because you are going to pick up your mind. Even if your father is a Christian or a Muslim, at a later stage in life, there will be a time for you to decide whether I'm going to follow my father's religion. So if it is a matter of choice, then it is, it is our choice to this world. We belong to the religion we belong to. And when God wants to bring, because some people have been, even you yourself ask me that question. As a pastor, you ask me, why do I as a have to say God say that God is not talking to God as a Muslim. Did God not know that Gwari is a Muslim? There was an organized program doing uh, um, the man who left before Gwari, Jonathan by Tudakan and his supporters. They chattered and played, sir, to airlift some Christians and they went to Jerusalem. Led by Archbishop Ayo Sajafo, the former pastor, to go and pray for the success of Jonathan. And that was when God told me, and I said it, I said it then, that Jonathan will not win. But they told me the power of influence will help me. But God said, what is going to win? And the ridiculous part of that religious ritual in Jerusalem was that they used Nigerian aircraft to airlift all members of Christians, including Dan Chairman. Quote me, it's in, in, if you search during that period, you will see it in the papers. They went to NTA. I don't know whether you are still at NTA at that time. They went to NTA to make arrangements that the prayers that were being offered in Jerusalem were here live in Nigeria. So everybody in Nigeria saw how Christians were praying 
on three different mountains in Jerusalem. I don't want to put names of our Christian leaders that left it. It is history. Their conscience will tell them that they went. And as I was shouting here in Nigeria, that where will be the person? Some of them were mocking me and calling me names. You know, I've been to the prison before. I came out. So maybe they thought I was begging for money. I couldn't look at money again. Because the roots of searching for money is good. 